I hear you, William Winfield, don't live just to exist, but live to be remembered. What you doing? Do you wake up every single day on accident? Do you just wake up just to wake up? See, I told the students in Vegas, I said, understand this and hear me very closely. Life is short, but legacy is long. Y'all, I, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Life is short, but legacy is long. And so what I realized, y'all, is that when you start learning how to serve, it will take your business, your life, and your legacy to a whole nother level. See, I, I, I became a person that I started understanding something very quickly, y'all. I am only as good as the Holy Spirit is on my life. Does that mean I'm perfect? No. Does that mean I, that, that, does that mean I seek to be perfection? Sometimes. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, right? But what I realize, y'all, is that when people ask me, Will, how is it that you do what you do? It's simple, the Holy Spirit. And here's the thing about it in Vegas, y'all, and this is why you got to be so sensitive to the Spirit. There was a, there was a, I remember uh, the, the, the decision maker who brought me in, he said, Will, I have this basketball team, and we have these two Hawaiian girls, and their mother passed away. Passed away last year, and they didn't want to do anything. They didn't want to play no more sports. I didn't even know, Rose, that they were in the same second session that I was doing. And by accident, the Holy Spirit audited my message, and I started speaking something different about my mother. Yeah. And when I spoke about my mother, the girl started breaking down in tears in the session. And I'm trying to figure out why is she crying? Why is she in tears? I, and here's the thing that I want you guys to understand. She came up to me after and she said, you don't understand how much I needed that. Now, I didn't even understand why she said that. But after the lady who runs the student council, she came to me and she said, um, I want you to understand that. You see those two Hawaiian girls? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, their mother passed away last year. I said, oh, those was the girls that coach was talking about. When it's about you, you make it about you. But when it's about doing the Holy Spirit's work and operating in your gift, come on, somebody. And so... Last, last slide for me, please, and we're going to get out of here. I know the black folk are hungry. I know we've been here a while. I got you. I promise you. I ain't going to be long-winded. I broke it down simply like this to the kids. I said, you got average, you got good, you got excellent. When you think about McDonald's, customer service-wise, what you think? Okay, we on the same page. When you think about Burger King? Yeah, all right, right? But how do I pull up, and you get mad at me, Shaniqua. Sorry, there's a Shaniqua in here. I ain't going to hold you. But how are you going to get mad at me because I ordered a cheeseburger and there's only two buns? How you do that? Like, what's going on? I ain't going to hold you, but I'm going to circle the block back around. I'm going to go get my food. Now, when I come to you, you get mad at me because you made a mistake. Why? Because you focusing on money. And one thing that I learned about Inky Johnson, what he said is that the reason why most people miss opportunities is because there's not a paycheck attached to it. And so I had to understand, Will, you don't want to be McDonald's. You don't want people to keep coming back and forth to your drive through because you can't get the order right the first time. Yeah. And so when I did this, y'all, I said, now I showed them the last slide. I said, Chick-fil-A. What do you think? Yeah. I ain't going to hold you. I remember I had my son fly out to Seattle, Washington. And I remember, I said, you ever had Chick-fil-A, j -Mon? He said, no, Dad. I said, you've never had Chick-fil-A? I said, you from New York, you ain't got a Chick-fil-A? He said, nah, dad, never Chick-fil-A. I said, we we're going to pull up on them. And we pull up to the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, and I said, son, now I'm going to tell you something. This is a completely different experience, j -Mar. He was holding on to his, he was like, dad, what you talking about? Completely different experience. I said, son, you need to understand something. This is holy ground. All right? <laughs> that Chick-fil-A is about to change your whole life. He said, he looked at me, he said, dad, I ain't going to hold you. I said, Jay, I ain't going to hold you. I don't know what hold me, but we about to find out. I said, now, if they don't say my pleasure, they're not legit, j -Mar. He said, what? I said, we'll pull up. How you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How can I help you? I said, can I get the spicy chicken sandwich, hold the pickles? Hey, shut up, get able. Hey, God. Hey, hey, my God. Right? <laughs> and I said to him, hold the pickles, give me the, give me the lemonade, give me the waffle fries. I said, son, it's about to go down. Do you want the same thing? He said, yeah, I'm going to try it. As soon as I was done, she said, anything else? I said, no, man. She said, what? Ooh, wait. 
I said, son, this ain't it. Yeah, he said, dad, they said my pleasure. I said, I told you, if they don't say the pleasure, they're not legit. We pull up to the second window. They gave me my food. I said, son, I ain't going to hold you. He said, I ain't going to hold you, dad. I said, I ain't going to hold you, Jay. Right? I told him, I said, look in the bag. Is anything missing? No. And dad, hold up. I ain't going to hold you. They gave us four sauces for the free. I said, yeah, son, that's what it's about. Excellence. We pulled off. My son was like, Dad, I ain't going to. Oh, wait a minute. (laughs) He was like, unbelievable. And so what I want you guys to understand is that the reason why most people's businesses and most people's careers are not successful and not packed out like Chick-fil-A's drive-thru is because you focused on money. 